Hi everyone, it's Lauren Critchlow over here at Legacy Physical Therapy. Um, happy Monday to everyone. Uh, I wanted to talk about some tips to improve our uh, night of sleep or get better sleep in general. Um, so obviously this is important for overall health and wellness. The benefits have been shown to reduce stress, improve our mood, um, maintain better weight, um, and then even better memory as well, to just name a few. Um, so obviously there's many health benefits to get getting adequate, adequate sleep, um, but I wanna talk about five specific tips that can help you achieve that. So one is making sure you're going to bed on time um, and at the same time each night. So obviously we know um, that if you do go to bed on time, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting the full seven to eight hours of good quality sleep. Um, but even if you don't get a full night's rest, if you go to bed at the same time every night, um, that at least you're getting the opportunity to give yourself, give your body a chance to rest for seven or eight hours. Okay, so that's tip number one. Um, tip number two is decrease screen time. We are all super guilty of being in front of computers or the TV or our phones, um, all very addicting things. So if you can decrease screen time at least an hour before you go to bed, um, that can really help turn kind of your brain off, um, help to decrease stimulation for your brain and help you get a little bit more restful sleep in general. It also helps to regulate melatonin levels. Um, so that's a sleep chemical in the body that helps us get better restful sleep. Um, tip number three, cut caffeine about four to six hours before going to bed. So that afternoon cup of coffee or tea, um, if you can opt out of that, if you're having some sleep trouble, I would definitely recommend that. Um, you can switch to decaf instead, so that might be a little bit better option for you. Um, but you're giving yourself four to six hours prior to bedtime will allow that caffeine to go through your system so your sleep's not interrupted. Um, tip number four, remind yourself that's uh, to start winding down before bed. So an alarm might help. So for instance, like get that last load of laundry in or um, the dishes that might start to trigger your body to start winding down. Um, give yourself an hour once that alarm goes off or the laundry's put away to kind of start that winding down routine. Tip number five, final tip, create a bedtime ritual. So this one's really important. So we're really, really good, especially mamas out there. We're really good at giving our kiddos a bedtime routine. We have a bath, we have a bedtime story, maybe we sing them a song. You know, we're good at winding them down, but we don't necessarily do that for ourselves. So um, having that bedtime routine is really critical. So that could include things like reading a book for 20 minutes before we go to bed, um, maybe taking a hot bath or a hot shower, meditate, stretch. Um, giving yourself a good chunk of time, whether that's, again, like 10, 15 minutes to kind of trigger our brain, hey, we're winding down, we're getting away from that screen, um, we are just kind of getting everything a lot more relaxed or into a more relaxed state. So that'll also be really helpful. So hopefully these five tips, um, you can uh, take this advice and maybe that'll help get you going on some better sleep habits. Um, but just know that there are things that you can do and um, hopefully that'll get you on the right path. But anyway, have a good rest of your Monday and here's to good sleep. Take care. Bye.